Okay, this video is on how to use layer masking in Photoshop. So if you look at my layers here, you see that I have two layers. I have my top layer and my back layer. What I'd like to do is I would like to add um, some more background. So I want to have some more of this background tablecloth and I want to cover up these blinds in the background here. So I have my layer in the top here. And then I have some extra of the tablecloth in the background layered there. So I need to erase this, the blinds that are up here, uh, so that I can see this image underneath. What layer masking does is it allows you to erase parts of the image without deleting them uh, and not getting rid of those pixels. So I'm on my top layer here, and down here, this box with the rectangle with the circle in the middle, this is your layer mask box. So I'm going to add a layer mask to my top layer here. And uh, black conceals and white reveals. So right now, white is showing me all of my uh, image here. If I s use my paintbrush and now select black as my paintbrush color, I'm going to go in, I'm going to make my paintbrush a little bit smaller. I'm too small. That's better. I'm going to put the hardness down a little bit so my edge is a little softer. Okay. So I'm, my layer mask is selected. I can see that it's selected there. And I'm going to start to erase with black. And as you can see, as I erase, that tablecloth, which is underneath, is starting to show through. And if you look at my layer mask here, you can start to see that I'm covering up the top layer to be able to see what's underneath here. Uh, you can change how opaque your brush is. So if I wanted to kind of have a my edge where those two images come together be a little bit softer, I can decrease how opaque my paintbrush is, that gray. And you can see that it's a little bit less severe. So I'm almost seeing both images coming through. So I'm trying to show a little bit of both of the images here to make it a little bit more natural where these two things are blending together. And if you make a mistake, so let's just say I made a mistake and I, I painted over there. Well, easily easily fixed, I just switch over to white. I can put my opacity all the way back up to the top and then paint over here again and then I bring that area back. So if ever you make a mistake, you can always go back and fix it just by painting with either white or painting with black. So you can see I got rid of the blinds behind the, their heads, uh, and it looks like it's just a solid background um, color rather than uh, that the backdrop was too short. And I could edit this a little bit more, uh, especially where these leaves and things are overlapping to make it a little bit more um, natural, a little bit more um, even. Uh, but I kind of like the fact that it's not 100%. It's a little bit abstract in the background with some of the, the leaves showing, and they're a little softer than some of the other ones. Okay, but that is how you can create a layer mask. So again, you see here, I painted with black to erase part of the image. But you can see here that the image is not erased, didn't go anywhere, it's just covered up and it's a little bit, uh, it's just covered up with that layer mask. So if I wanted to, I can disable this layer mask and then my image is right back to the way it was. So if I didn't like what I did here, I can always get rid of that layer mask just by disabling it or deleting it. 